Alright, this is going to be a short video on the Zelman VE300 hard drive enclosure. Uh, this thing basically acts as both a regular hard drive enclosure and as a uh, Blu-ray optical drive. Um, right now it's in the Blu-ray mode. Uh, so you can see on here the uh, LCD displays what image file I have loaded. Um, so as you can see I got multiple images on here and they will uh, load up either one of these ISOs as a Blu-ray disk drive into a computer. Um, so if I select Passcape, uh, now Passcape is loaded into the disk drive. As you can see in Windows, it uh, actually reads it as a Blu-ray drive with Passcape on it. If I change the ISO file um, to, let's say, Linux Mint here, changes in there. Um, so basically, anything that can boot from a USB CD drive can boot from this thing as well. Um, the way it opens up is uh, you got uh, two screws on the sides here, behind these little flaps, um, one on each side, and um, you can take out the whole top, put in a SATA hard drive or a solid state, and um, it will work. I'm assuming you guys can figure that part out. Um, but basically, the hard drive that you choose to use in here does make a difference. Um, I've read online that if you use a regular hard disk drive, uh, you will want to get a USB 3 cable that has two uh, regular USB ends so you can plug in to two different ports as it doesn't supply enough power in most cases to uh, run the hard drive. I have a solid state drive in here and it seems to work fine on the lower power um, so I probably recommend the solid state drive if you can choose. Um, now to basically change the disk or to change the mode um, you've got a little slider on here see if I can get that to focus and you can nudge it up or down or push in on it. To select a disc, you use up and down to select it and then push in to select it. Um, now to change the hard drive mode, uh, you basically hold down on the slider, unplug it and plug it back in from the USB port. I can't do that because I have only one hand um, at the moment. So basically you just unplug it, plug it back in. Apparently it didn't like me doing that. So, But you have to hold down the button while doing it. So you hold it up to do disk drive mode, uh, then plug it in, hold down and plug it in to do hard drive mode, or you can do dual mode, which you just push in and it does both. Um, I don't like that mode, it tends to have a lot more problems than just disk drive or hard drive, so I usually just do one or the other, not the both mode. Um, so now I'll show you uh, with a screen capture how to set up the uh, folder structure. I have this hard drive as uh, NTFS formatted. I recommend that over FAT32 because then you can have files over 4 gigs, obviously. Um, but basically, as you can see, I've got some other stuff here. Documents, the snappy driver installer. Um, but the folder that you need is this underscore ISO file. It has to be named that way. And inside here is all your ISO files. Um, you can sort these out into different folders within here, and it will still work. Um, it's just going to sort them alphabetically and um, however you name the ISO files it will be displayed that way on the LCD of the Zalman drive. Um, so basically you can put whatever image file you want on here. It literally just mounts it as a Blu-ray drive and then anything that can boot from a USB disk drive can boot from the Zalman drive. Um, as you can see here I've got OS X installers, uh, Parted Magic, Windows installers, all sorts of stuff. Um, that's really it. Uh, that's all you need to have your Zelma drive up and running, and um, I recommend you put on a snappy driver installer. That way if you install Windows, you can get the drivers right away off the same drive. But um, that's really it. Now I'll show you a trick on how to uh, choose what ISO image to boot up um, by default. Uh, sometimes Macs have trouble booting from the uh, disk. It will lock the disk to whatever you had on before and it won't let you change it so if you're not already on the Mac installer then it gives you trouble so you just use another computer to set the default plug it back into the Mac and you're good to go so I'll show you that now okay so let's say I have a um, MacBook Pro here that I need to reload the operating system uh, it's got a new hard drive in it and just needs to be reloaded uh, so I plug in my Zalman drive here and we see I've actually loaded up Parted Magic Try and get that in focus and um, if I try and change the disk, it says disk locked. Uh, this happens a lot on Macs, um, not so much on PCs, but it does also happen there sometimes. 
Um, what you need to do is just basically use another computer. Unplug it from here. I'll plug it into this Dell over here. That's not the USB port. Comes on. And I can see it's part of magic. I just move it. Now I can change it. So I'll do uh, the OSX. Do that. And now here's how you save the um, ISO to load up by default. Uh, on the top here, there's a button. It says backup on it. It's hard to read because it's uh, in the black. But um, basically, you just hold that button down for a couple seconds. It's going to change. Say data saving. Please wait. And then plug it out. That just means unplug it. So now, if I plug it back in, we'll see that it comes straight up to the OS X disk. All right, so I'm just going to take that out. Plug it into the USB port on here. You'll see it's OS X 10.9, and there's my disk. I can just click on it, and it starts loading up. Uh, so that's how you save a image to be loaded by default. Uh, so now whenever I plug this in, it's going to load the OS X 10.9 ISO. And um, if I need to change it, then I just do the same thing with whatever image file I need.